Hello everyone, I'm Generic Waffle. Welcome back to Escape the Ioki Update 1.5. This is going to be the backstory episode for every tape with as minimal commentary as possible. Alright, after giving it a lot of thinking, I decided to step out of the cult. It's insane. They want to feed the entity with children's fears. And even the very children, I can't stand up with them. They are everything I have. Only with them I feel as unequal. As a brother, not like in the cult where I feel used. They are just telling me promises at a cost that would mean everything to me. Yeah. I'm done. I will try to record one of the sessions to expose them. Oh no. After what Mr. Carlson said, I feel so bad. Oh yeah, the captain. Now everything down. makes sense. That's why they reached to me in the first place. My children. I have my children. I wouldn't be able to hurt any of you. You know, my friends. My little brothers. I've stopped using the controller. The fact that the Ioki can hear you is a fucking pain in the ass. Oh shit, it loaded, holy shit. So you must act quickly before they manage to get away with the plans. I won't tell anyone what you're trying to do, but please, I beg you, as a friend, give it another thought. Think about everything we're achieving and earning with this, and everything we're losing if you expose us. So, you were saying without an equal substitution, my eternal youth wouldn't be sustained. Uh, what I'm saying is that sacrifices must be made. But it's not just a single sacrifice. It would have to be a regular event. I know you are not really taking this whole thing seriously, are you? You don't think your eternal life is worth the lives of others. What I'm saying is I'd do whatever it takes to stay this way. He, he did it. He really did it. Who would have guessed this mumbo jumbo magic tablet was real? Though it appears to be behaving, uh, strangely. Carlin has asked that I study everything I can about this tablet and act as if nothing strange is happening here. Mr. Carlin called again today. Third time, it's even before lunch. First, I humored his mad ramblings. At least the science he has behind it, anyway. Speaks of eternal youth. Not just beauty on the outside, but hot to eternal organs to came. Even dragged the new guy into this whole thing. But even they know that type of power can't be found within the stable realms of reality. Can it? Well, for what I've seen, our reality, and in fact, all of them are shapeless. But there are forces that we don't understand which can shape the reality at will. I see. After all, as a man of knowledge, I prefer to stick to what I can see with my very own eyes. Oh dear, that's the thing. What you are seeing is what you shouldn't trust the most. We are here to experience exactly what's behind of what we can see as reality. The tablet. I think it's having more of an impact on me than anything else. Uh, I know this that tablet? Crazy, but I feel as though it's speaking it's saying he he. Entered my mind. Things I couldn't possibly ever come up with myself, and things I would never want to do. Hello, dear. So, as I said in the last meeting, the circle is almost complete. 
When Dr. Grayson finishes his work, I will let you know about the signs and the symbols you should be using. Thanks, Mr. Carlin. I can't wait to get my hands on the symbols. Once Grayson sends them, I will immediately put my designers and producers to work in the new content. So we can light up all of those beacons as quickly as possible for the elder to notice. Huh. Exactly. That sounds like a very good idea. We will have what we want earlier than expected. Hey dear, about our most recent member. I've been getting information about him. He seems a little concerned, worried about our plans. Someone even said he was planning to expose us. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Oh, yes. He seemed uncomfortable in our last meeting. So I wouldn't totally trust him. But why do you ask me for my opinion? Oh dear, you know. Your opinion is really important to me. I don't know about that. Do you think you could come by to take the evening? But Mr. Carlin again? I'll see if I can. I'm very busy right now. But yeah. Later, perhaps, we can meet. You know, I wouldn't say no for an answer. Do you, right? Also, since you asked, I wouldn't trust a new guy. His role is far too important for us to avoid him being indecisive and worried. We should think of something, like a plan B. You're right. We have to think about something. But in the meantime, I will wait for you tonight. That sounds like five different things that could happen. Okay. Beep. I have the tank running. Now let's hide it in my jacket. Get to be the first sacrifice. Do you think you could have spoils us? <laughs> Our influence is limitless. Now you have to pay the price for being a traitor. Bring him downstairs. Motherfucker just died. What's happening? This is weird. This is not supposed yeah, to happen. Fucking get trying to usurp shit, idiot. We don't want to feed so we are. But we sacrifice some more money. Oh no, what have I done? It's the boys. Hey. So here's what's gonna go down. I'm gonna finish this game. And then I'm gonna start it and do it a second time. I'm going to level with you. I have more questions now than I did before 1.5 came out. Like, oh yeah, the first eight tapes are like, oh hey, there's this thing happening, and uh, there's some skepticism, and a little, bit of a, a little bit of, you know, oh, it probably isn't that great. And then the, the last two tapes are like, let's do it anyway. Which is a big no-no. That being said, though, if y'all want me to do another commentary episode, it's going to just be the last two tapes in that next commentary episode. That's going to do it. So like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Tell your friends, tell your pets, and as always with love, Generic Waffle.